Hi, folks. Thanks for stopping by. I'm Jerry Wilson, the founder of Coastal Custom Wine Cellars. I'd like to take you on a tour of a, re a job we just recently installed and completed in Southern California, actually in, in Orange County. The clients had a, a pretty large collection, over 2,000 bottles, a, a broad range of uh, different sized bottles, wood cases and such. So um, we had to be a little bit creative because we also had to stay within a budget as well. So you'll see that we used a combination of a, some semi-custom wine racks as well as some custom cellars in this design. Uh, when you receive a, a three-dimensional design package from Coastal Wine Cellars, there'll be multiple pages. There's the plan view, uh, which we're looking at here. Uh, there's uh, elevations of each wall, and in this case, they're labeled A, B, and D. And then there'll be some 3D visuals, so you, you get a great idea of how the wine room ties together. So in this case, you can see all the dimensions are published around the perimeter walls. The ceiling height uh, is made mention up here in this top right table, as well as the total bottle capacity, and indeed how those bottles break down into the various components. One of the challenges we had here besides our budget was this little closet here in this wine room. We toyed with the idea of, of bringing the racks into the closets and wrapping them around and bringing them back out, but uh, when all was said and done, it kind of spoiled the balance and the symmetry of the room. So we um, incorporated some custom com features or custom components on wall A. Wall B, the left side wall, are a, uh, from the semi-custom line. They're double deep. And on this back wall here, the D wall, we incorporated, again, some more custom features to... Um, to, to achieve the goals and some of the, the ways to manage the wines for the client. So let's take a look at Elevation A. Elevation A, we've got a good mix of different size bottles going on here. On the right side, we have the uh, small openings for the splits or the 375 milliliter bottles. Just to the left of that is a double deep column for magnum size bottles, oversized champagnes. And in this case, to the left of that, we've got seven additional columns of champagne size openings. These openings are four inches by four inches. Uh, the client has a, is a very, very fond and a, and a very good big collector of Pax Syrahs, and she was concerned they wouldn't fit in our standard 750 milliliter opening, and comes to find out they actually did. So uh, still good to have a good mix and to know that we can still offer all these different size openings. Below the uh, single bottle openings are uh, bin cases for wooden uh, case options, bulk storage of various wines and such. Let's like, take a look at the left side wall. And for the most part, this is from our eight foot semi-custom line. These are single bottle storage racks. As you can see from the side elevation here, the total depth is 23 inches. So you can place a bottle into the opening, push it, push it to the back and then place another bottle in front of it. At about 40 inches above the finished floor is a what we call a high reveal display row. And you'll see here in a, in a moment when I share some finished photographs, the we place a light balance just above these display bottles. So that's LED ribbon lighting was placed in there. Really lends a lot of character, a lot of a lot of jazz, if you will, to the uh, to the wine room. Pretty cool effects. The back wall uh, is also custom and as you can see by the side elevation here at the bottom is double deep, so we were able to create a tabletop running and spanning the width of that wall, and it's single deep above. This rectangular shaped area here is a grill box and a wooden louver grill cover that we used to conceal the fan coil. Um, the client used a split refrigeration system with a remote condenser placed outdoors and the fan coil placed in the white room, and because of the mechanical aspects of that, uh, this particular product, we can shroud it or clad it in the uh, wooden grill cover. You'll see that in some subsequent pictures here. These are the 3D visuals. Really nice wine rooms. A lot of fun to work on this product project. And uh, I'm going to show you some pictures now of the finished product. This is the double deep bottom area where we created the tabletop. And the client actually put a clear lacquer finish over the premium redwood, which I thought was a great idea because you can actually um, protect the wood from absorbing wines. And one last shot before we run out of time. You can see how the illumination of the lights worked. So thanks again for stopping by. Cheers.